Hi everybody, it's your girl Segan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my wigs. If you aren't subscribed to the channel just yet, please be sure to subscribe. And if you're a beginner at installing wigs, continue watching. So to get started, I put my hair into two twists. To make sure that my baby hairs are all slicked back, I like to use my brush and some edge control and slick the hairs down. The edge control that I'm using is by Curls and it's the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, but you can use any edge control that you have at home. Once the hairs are all laid flat, I like to take a wig cap to cover my hair. And we're gonna be using this unit in today's video. Here's a closer look of what the unit looks like inside. And I just wanna let you know, all the products that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description box. So don't forget to check it out. Before I get started with adding any glue, I like to measure out the wig on my head just to make sure it fits comfortably. Next, I like to add a thin layer of the got to be glue. I like to use the black bottle because the glue dries clear. And then I like to add a layer of the got to be free spray as well. And those are the only two products I use to lay down my wigs. Before I lay my wig down, I like to take the blow dryer in the cool setting to help speed the drying process. Once the glue is tacky, it's ready to be laid down. But here's a pro tip. If you're a beginner like me, I like to lay down my wigs in three sections. So I like to start off with my right side and then I move over to my left side and then I leave my middle part to last. For good measure, I like to take the back of my comb, press down on the lace and then take my blow dryer in the cool setting again and help with the drying process just to make sure that it's laid flat. And like I mentioned, I like to repeat this process section by section. Once the wig is laid down, I like to take this headband that I got from the dollar store and leave it until the glue is nice and dry. If you guys don't have a headband, a head wrap will work just fine. But before I put on some makeup, I like to remove any excess glue or hairspray with some toner. I know alcohol is commonly used to remove any excess glue, but I have super sensitive skin, so I like to use my toner. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'd like to put on some makeup and add some finishing touches to my hair. And that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was highly requested. I posted this originally on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago, but I got a few comments saying that you wanted to see this on YouTube as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.